Hey guys, uh, I've been trying to get in a positive mood all day so I can do the video for PTSD Patrol and uh, that is just not happening. It is not going to happen unless I get something off my chest. Something that has really, really been gnawing at me and it's, it's this 22 a day, the 20 a day that I'm reading all over the country, group after group after group is screaming about 22 a day, 20 a day and it is driving me positively insane. It's driving me insane for several reasons. One of them is I got a message a couple of weeks ago from, from a veteran that was doing something and I tried to explain to him why he really should stop talking about 22 a day and stop supporting groups that are quote unquote raising awareness. Well, it, it took a while and the last week I heard from him and he said, well, we're just going to go with what the CDC says. And I'm saying to myself, oh, really? So I went to my boss's office and I was talking to her and um, I told her, I said, you know something, I, 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 I just quit. I need to just give up on, on trying to get people to understand how this awareness thing is more doing more harm than doing good. And I was, I was really furious and she, she said, why don't you go after the CDC? And I'm like, I have. But I was driving home and I'm thinking, I really haven't gone after the CDC hard enough. I'm going to see what they have for data. Maybe I can find the actual data. Sure enough, I couldn't find the data on veteran suicides from the CDC that I needed to find. But what I did find absolutely positively blew my mind. When I read it, I almost fell off my chair. Now, this is what really put me over the edge. There was a veteran in Indiana. Committed suicide, gunshot. At the VA. Another one. And I'm like, this, this is just really getting ridiculous. How these veterans are reaching out for help. And all these groups are out there. And these veterans aren't getting help. So they're committing public suicides. I found something like 15 public suicides since March. This is crazy. Okay? Well, then top that off with a VA employee committed suicide in her office. And someone left a message on, on my site saying that it was their therapist. Yeah, another veteran committing suicide. So, let's get back to the CDC thing. Yeah, here's all the public suicides right there. Yeah, quite a few of them. Okay, so the CDC thing. I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. What I got here is, what the public does not know scares the crap out of me, and I'm serious. It scares the crap out of me, because if they're falling for this 22 day, 20 a day, and nothing's happening, and they just keep... Donating, 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 pushing, pushing, pushing on social media. Veterans are still going to be left out. So we get some facts here. This is what I found from the CDC. I'm going to zoom in on this part. Okay, let's see if you can get a lower air. Because this is important. There you go. Okay. See these blue areas? That's Texas. That's Florida. According to the CDC, they don't have all the data in on 10 states. It says, pulls together the data on violent deaths in 40 states, the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico. And down here it says, however, keep in mind Data not nationally representative. We still do not have a complete picture of violent deaths across the nation. Violent deaths are considered like suicide. Otherwise it would be homicide. It would be natural causes. That should really blow your mind because the VA says we put together the data with the DOD and the CDC. CDC is saying, we don't know. 
as it is the same as over uh, 45,000 people die by suicide. <clears throat> there were 19,000 victims of homicide. 45,000 people died of suicide, of a known suicide. Okay? Now let's keep going on this one. Okay, there are about uh, over 20 million veterans in, in the country. Okay. Largest group of veterans committing suicide are over the age of 50. It's been reported since the original suicide report from the VA, which had 21 states limited data. Okay, next part. I'm going to zoom in on this one too. Those are the biggest groups of veterans in the country. Do you see Iraq or Afghanistan on there? No, you do not. You see Gulf War, World War II, Vietnam, and, and Korea. Do you know none of these veterans are included in any of the new groups? They only focus on Iraq and Afghanistan veterans? You want to see something change? Start with these guys. The ones that have waited longer. The ones that are not being talked about because they're also the majority of the ones committing suicide publicly. Let's keep going because this gets worse. This is from the VA. Can I zoom in on this too? Okay. Approximately 9.7 million veterans use at least one VA benefit. Out of that 9.7 million, 6 million are getting health from health care from the VA. The rest of them are getting compensation, loan guarantee, life insurance, education, memorial benefits, and vocational rehab. Four point six would be four point six million are getting compensation. Compensation means they're disabled. And this just keeps getting better and better. Because if a veteran did not get an honorable discharge, um, most states won't let them put veteran status on a death certificate. Yeah, that's right. And there were 300,000 got less than honorable. None of them accounted. So you want to keep telling me that all this raising awareness has given you a clue about anything real? It really didn't, did it? I mean, when, when, when you stop and think about it, it's actually even worse than that. Because, according to the VA, This left me speechless. Is veterans living in the United States? Guess what? Veterans moved out of the country too. They're not counted anywhere either. So let's just keep talking and talking and talking and talking about 22 a day and 20 a day. And all I'm going to say is if you're just sharing that on social media and not having a clue what you're talking about, shame on you because you're partly responsible for everything that's going on. Shame on the reporters that keep pushing. 22 a day, 20 a day, ad nauseum on all these reports that they're doing across the country. Because it is driving advocates insane. We're trying to do the best that we can to get out the message that these veterans need to hear. And that is they can heal. But just like I was facing most of this day, having a really shitty attitude about all this. Because of all these reports coming out, especially that other, 
that another veteran committing suicide at a VA hospital. When is this crap going to stop? That's really what I want to know. Are you serious about really caring about veterans? Then if you have one of these groups that scream about 22 a day, 20 a day, do me a favor. Start talking about what's real. Start talking about the veterans that need the most help. And start talking about how they can get help and turn their lives around and take back their lives. Because until you start changing that message that you've managed to share on social media over and over and over and over again, gathering millions and millions of dollars into your pocket, until you change that message, you're going to keep saying 22 a day. And families are going to keep counting the coffins they're filling that goes way above 22 a day. Now, hopefully, since I got that off my chest, I'm going to be able to do a positive video for PTSD Patrol. But I think I need to go have a good cry first. You want to change the outcome? Change what you're doing.